Hey guys, let's talk about the lands that will be in Command in 2016 and probably the most exciting video. Uh, we find out it's not just one cycle of lands, it's actually three different cycles. And at least for the pain lands, we see the caves, which is the white black pain land. So we assume, I will assume that all the other five enemy pain lands will be in the set. Then we see a pain land I didn't expect to be in the set, the blue black one, catacombs. And that one signifies that all the ally pain lands will be in the set too. So right off the bat, we have 10 pain lands, which are very nice. I love that cycle. The next cycle that we're going to talk about is the Odyssey filter lands. To my recollection, there has, there's only been ally Odyssey filter lands, so it's not a complete land set. But it is very good lands. The foils are quite expensive. And overall, it's just nice to have them because the last time we saw them was in Odyssey, which a lot of the current player base has not had the pleasure of playing that set. So we see that, and we also see the Allied Checklands. Now, the Allied Checklands did have enemy Checklands from Innistrad. I don't know if the enemy Checklands are in this set. All I know is the Ally ones are. We see the green, we see the white green one the red green and then the black green but i'm not certain that the there are enemies so unlike the odyssey filter lands where there are no enemy odyssey filter lands for the check lands there are enemy check lands most notably it was in innistrad i don't know if we're going to see them again they are very pricey the blue red one is extremely pricey but even assuming that that's not in the set I do want to take a moment in time and really thank Wizards of the Coast. Um, I'm very negative about them most times because I don't agree with their direction, but this is absolutely wonderful. Just don't throw in one type of land, throw in like five or six sets, right? Hopefully, uh, it really reduces prices. A lot of people were speculating on Brushland for the Adrazi deck and Vintage and Legacy and Modern. Now they become affordable. There's no reason. A brush land should be fourteen ninety eight. No reason that should be the case. Not for that type of land. And there's no reason that a fetch land should be that price either. Um, so hopefully this will show that, you know, hey, we're going to go ahead. We're going to reprint pretty much everything into Oblivion. And that is how magic will be from now on. Which, as long as all the players understand this, then no one's going to be uh, too hurt over it because... This is how it is. So commander decks, I love it. I mean, I was very sh surprised that we can have 25, up to 25 reprints. I know that for right now, I know that the allied enemy pain lands are in. So those are 10. I know the Odyssey filter lands, so those are five. And I know that the ally uh, check lands, the buddy lands are also in. I just don't know if the Innistrad enemy buddy lands are in. So already we have... 20 land reprints the last five we need to see that land but overall fantastic absolutely fantastic brush land is 15 dollars. i mean come on not going to be 15 dollars anymore and i'm very happy to see that land should not be expensive that's my opinion of course anyway bye guys